Hey, welcome to another Copy AI live demo. Today's focus will be blog writing shortcuts. This will be a one hour demo to help you write better copy in less time with artificial intelligence. So we're gonna cover some really uh, popular topics and tools, the blog post wizard, which will help you write your first draft of your blog in a few clicks, freestyle tool, which can help you write pretty much anything from social media posts to emails, and I'm going to show you specifically today how to write uh, sections of your blog content, but that could also be used for video scripts, uh, educational social posts, uh, online course creation, emails, really whatever you need to write. The freestyle tool can help you get that done. And then I'll show you some other tools uh, that help you come up with content ideas and get keywords and refine your target audience. So let me make sure everything's running smooth here looks like we've got some of you guys showing up go ahead and say hello in the comments and what i'd like to do is help you out so if you're here live these demos are for you so if you have any questions right now let me know and i could help you out i'll be taking questions throughout the demo and what's really cool too is if you have something specific that you're trying to write let me know tell me a little bit about it and I can take some time today to write some content just for you. All right, let's see. Cool. Wow, wow, what's up? Glad you're here. Hopefully, I can help answer some of your questions today. All right, let's go ahead and jo jump right into Copy AI. So if you're new, this is right here. This is one of the more popular tools. Let me I'll hang out down here in the bottom left. Hey, Haley, welcome. Let me know if there's any questions that you have right now. I'm going to be showing some blogging features today. So if that's interesting, then you're in the right spot, but we'll, we'll uh, try some other things as well. Okay. So here is the end result. I was just working on a quick blog and I created this in about three clicks. Now let me show you the end result and we'll go back and do it from scratch. So the blog title up here, I just put how to build your personal brand with thought leadership. Pretty broad, but it helped me come up with this entire outline, about 700 words in a few clicks. It even wrote a nice introduction for me. And this was the first draft. I didn't edit any of this. It just went through and created this for me in a few seconds. So let's take a look at this. More and more important, what does that mean for you? It means you need to develop your own brand so that potential clients can identify you as an expert in your field. This is where thought leadership comes into play. All right, so a pretty decent intro there. If I want to edit that or regenerate it, I can regenerate a new intro to see if there's something better. But if I scroll down, it also came up with outline uh, of sections to cover. So to find your purpose, you might have, oh, there it is. It, it just added up there. Okay, to find your purpose, know your audience, identify your strengths, be consistent. So it actually came up with all of these section topics for me and then it wrote the first draft of each section as well so if we look through these you know consistent in order to be build a professional or personal brand you need to be have a distinct style and tone of voice so you can see the the writing style here sounds very natural very human and it's packed with valuable valuable tips and insights and sometimes it'll give you a bullet point list like this i can just regenerate it and it may uh, just give me a different style of writing. Takeaway, okay, so a big takeaway and then a conclusion, which are similar, uh, gave me maybe two different conclusion sections. And that conclusion also sums it up really well. So that's a nice example here of a blog outline. Now, if I were to go back and do that again, let me show you that entire process and I'll do it with a different topic so you can see exactly how this works. And the way I came up with these topics was actually using Copy AI as well. So I used a tool called the Freestyle tool, and I had it come up with a list of 10 blog post titles. Now, what it gave me was a list of, and actually here's, here's an example of what I typed in. So this is more of the normal Copy AI interface. The blog post wizard is an all-in-one feature that kind of walks you through step-by-step -step to write a blog. But the rest of Copy AI is a little bit more interactive where you can work with it to get what you need. 
And one of the tools I recommend checking out is the freestyle tool. You can actually type it in over here on the left and choose that tool and you'll see it showing up right here. What's cool about this tool is you can tell it what you are looking to create. And you can be as specific as something like a list of 10 blog post titles that will grab the attention of my target audience. What are the main points? Well, I just told it what I do. And in this case, I just told it, I share personal branding and thought leadership tips for professionals. I created a tone called helpful because I just wanted to have a helpful tone here. You can type in any tone that you want, or you can choose from a pre-selected tone. The friendly tone is a nice neutral tone. If you don't want to worry about tones, it's it just creates a slightly subtle change in the type of words that the AI writes. I created the content and I got a list of great ideas. So the secret to creating standout content that will get you noticed by the influencers in your field. That's pretty good. How to create content that gets shared without being spammy or overly self-promotional. That's kind of fun too. I'm going to grab that one and drop it into my blog title. Now keywords, I can uh, put in some keywords here if I want. It's not required. And in fact, the blog title can also be more of a, you can almost explain what you want. So if I were to write in a little bit more details here, these are just some notes I took in a few minutes. I'm gonna try adding even more context to the blog title. So it's a little bit longer here, but I'm telling the AI a little bit more about it. So for any professional, there we go. So I gave it a little bit more context here in the blog title to let the AI know what's going on. And I'll choose that helpful tone. It could even be uh, like helpful and witty or something like that. You can actually type in whatever you want. Let's generate the outline. So just with that information now, it will generate an outline for the content. So let's see what it came up with. How do we, uh, what's the goal again here? Create content that gets shared without being, oh, I, I, I thought I wanted to choose the other one. Actually, that's a pretty fun one. So let's see what it came up with. Connect with your audience, create content in line with your brand and message, create multiple channels for sharing, identify thought leaders, engage, engage, engage. All right, let's see what it comes up with there. That's an interesting outline. Now I go to the talking point. So what should be covered in each section? Know who your audience is, uh, what are their interests and goals? How can you help them? Like these are great points to hit in your content. So this can be really useful if you're writing blogs, if you're making video content, if you're creating any kind of social content, you actually, ha you actually have now all of these ideas to help you get the creativity flowing and get some content out to your market. So I think just the outline alone can help you come up with content that will resonate with your audience and help you get more content out there. But looking through this, you can regenerate these and kind of edit these down if you want. I'm going to go ahead and just continue through and generate the content. And now we're going to have the first draft written up here. Again, it's very fast and it's all happening pretty much on autopilot here. Content marketing has become a major player in the digital landscape and for good reason. In today's world, content is king. However, you need to be careful with how you create your content if you want to go viral and be shared by your potential audience. All right, it's okay. It's a little bit lacking some oomph. Let's see. While it's important to create great content, it doesn't always mean you need to share on every social media platform available. Your followers probably don't want to see the same thing over and over again. Instead, choose one or two. All right, interesting point. So I can just kind of scan through and get some different introductions. I was looking for something that maybe makes it a little bit more of a hook, grabs their attention and makes them want to read more. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Have you ever Googled yourself? It's a nice ego boost, but it can be a bit scary. <laughs> All right, that's interesting. So there's an interesting hook there. Let's see what it came up with with connecting with your audience. It came up with some examples there, pretty interesting. Let's see, create content in line with your brand message. Some helpful tips. Don't limit yourself. All right, interesting. Thought leadership. Um, identify thought leaders in your community. Engage. Okay, it's repeating that a lot. Pretty good conclusion there. We hope this was helpful. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and create the blog post. And now we have 
I can, you know, delete um, that extra input there. I gave it and we've got 1200 words written up. You can see that down in the bottom left down here. You can see the, the reading level, maybe a little bit higher than we'd like. Usually you want to get down to like a, you know, a, like an eighth grade, sixth grade re reading level for like really consumable content. But this is a little bit more advanced educational training here. So with that, you can edit this down. Now there's a couple extra features built in at this stage. Let's say there's a sentence here that you want to rewrite. You can just hover over that and you'll see that rewrite button. And you can actually scan through a few different variations of that sentence and accept and drop it in there. You can also undo it really quick. Another thing you can do is um, at the end of any section here, you can add more content by clicking tab and it will scan what's before it and after it and try to come up with some uh, additional content that may be useful right there. You can click through a couple ideas. And let's drop it in. So we've just added more content. All right, so those are a couple things you can do right there to enhance it. You also have this uh, editor up here. Now, one final thing you can look at in the top right is you can bring it back into the normal copy AI interface just by clicking up here. And now you'll notice we have our generator here in the middle where you can create some content and on the side. You have all that content written up. So this is where you can now start to write some more content using the normal copy AI tools. So we'll explore that more in a minute. I just wanted to show you a quick tour of the blog post wizard. And if you are just getting started with a copy AI, this is how you can dive in and grab it. Uh, here at the top, you'll see some common tools, the most popular ones up here, freestyle, Instagram captions, blog post. You can also find these over here in templates. If you click on templates, this is a really good place to get started. You'll notice right here in the blog uh, templates, you'll have that blog post wizard. And that is more of a, an entire tool to help guide you through. But there are other tools as well for email writing. Uh, these templates are great because they'll get you going with um, you know, a task that you might have and that'll help you give the AI enough information to write the kind of content that you need. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, pause there and go back to our outline today. There's gonna be a lot more we cover. That was a quick intro of the blog post wizard. Next, I'm gonna dive into some of the things you can do with the freestyle tool to write uh, more content for anything uh, very quickly. And then we'll dive into some other topics. But let's see if there's any questions right here. If you are joining live, if you have any questions that want to help you, these demos are for you. And I can save you a lot of time by answering your questions and helping you get some content written up. And if you have anything specific you're trying to write, let me know. Tell me a little bit about your business and I'll see if I can help you get that written today. Ooh, interesting. Well, it'd be nice to see some interview answers, like doing an interview with myself. Okay. So you mean like uh, have an AI generate answers to interview questions? Let me know if that's what you're looking for. Hey, wow, wow. If uh, you know, if it ain't for you, it ain't for you. So I'm not going to try to sell you on a tool that's not for you. <laughs> um, in general, I will tell you guys this. Compared to all the AI tools, Copy AI has some unique, um, some unique ways of creating more creative content. So when you compare amongst all the AI tools that are popping up, there are some proprietary features that Copy AI has that makes the AI a little bit more human and a little bit more creative. And that's been a big focus with the team. So if it's not up to your standard, it could be the topic that you're writing about. It could be the kind of input that you're giving it. And there's some ways to even give it more of an empathetic or like conversational tone. So if the style isn't being written how you want, there's some ways to improve that. And I'll just let you know, a lot of people use all the AI tools. They come back to copy AI because the quality is higher and that's a big priority for the team that will forever be a huge priority. I've got a chance to work with some of the team behind the scenes who have trained these models and it's like crazy what they do to make it right, uh, beautiful, elegant and human like content. So again, if it's 
if it's not up to your standards, that's fine. You know, can't please everybody, but I will say that there are some unique things about copy AI that are going to give you more creative results compared to a lot of the other AI tools. All right, let's take a look here. When we are generating different options. Yes. So every word that you write will count towards your credits, just FYI. So all of these, um, every word that gets written is part of your credits, not just like a final version. Cool. So helping with answers, that'll be a fun one to explore. I'll try that one out. Ooh, let's see here how to write like top 10 products for apartment generators. Okay. Good question. So that's a style of writing. If you're doing like, um, something that requires a little bit more in-depth knowledge. Let's try that out real quick. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the blog post wizard again. Top 10 products. Let's try this out. So top 10. Uh, I'm going to do something that I know more about. So I'm going to try something like top 10 headphones for um, running. Uh, we'll do like in-ear headphones for running. Let's just try that out. Now, this is something that requires a little bit more precision. If you're doing reviews of products and it's technical and it requires a little bit more of a human angle to this, you may have to find a balance of what can the AI do for you to save you time in your writing process compared to what needs to be like human edited. Now, let's see what outline it came up with. It's giving me like an outline of like maybe price ranges. Okay, that's a really interesting outline there. Not loving that one. So I'm going to try regenerating this. See what other kind of outline it gives me. Now, in this case, I would push back on writing this type of, out, of blog with Copy AI because it's going to give us, you know, a bunch of things. Now, it's using a predictive model which means it's scanned a huge chunk of the internet. It's read through all these forums and public content. It knows a lot about in-ear headphones and running, but it may be a little bit dated. So it might not be totally up to date with the latest stuff. And in a tech space, that's going to be a challenge. It may give you headphones from a few years ago, right? It's kind of like scanning what it already has already been written. And it's basing this off of what it knows about it. So in this case, I would do something more like what to look for um, how to, you know, what, what makes a great, and I'll do like a dash there in ear headphone for running. If we do something more general like that, it may be more useful because again, this is going to be a little bit behind and you could easily go find that kind of information yourself, but the kind of content that you want to write with, with any AI in general is going to be a little bit more broad. So what you could look for here, what I recommend doing is going to Google. And actually I may just put in what makes it great. Well, let's see what other questions come up. Do any questions come up here? We're looking for related questions. I don't see any there. So if we type in something like this, what makes a great in ear? All right. People also ask what to look for in running headphones. What headphones are best for runners? How do you keep them from falling out? Is it better with earbuds or headphones? These are the kind of questions that you can start to answer more effectively with, with copy AI. And these are the questions you actually want to include in your content. So if you're going to give them a list of just like, here's 10 great headphones that are highly reviewed on Amazon or something, that's great. You could do that pretty quickly yourself. And in the future, copy AI will be able to do some of that for you. But at this stage, it's more of a creative writing tool. So I would go grab some of these questions, what to look for in headphones. Let's see here. What makes a great in-ear? So again, it's giving me just like random brands here, and that's not super useful. So think of right now, this stage in AI, you want to write content that's a little bit more vague, but still interesting and helpful, not just, uh, you know, you want it to be unique and not just like generic gibberish, but these, this isn't doing it for me. So, I would look for these kind of questions, what to look for in running headphones. So I might even try dropping that in. Let's go ahead and let's go back and 
you know, it might not have updated the the blog title thing. It might have still been generating outlines from the. <laughs> yeah, I think it's still. So we might need to refresh or go back here. Yeah, see, it's still coming up with these outlines. So let me close this out and create a new one to change our title here. Let's use that helpful and witty tone. This should be a little bit more broad and generic. So these kind of questions are great. Now, in the people also ask section, when you open up a question, it adds more. So you see how it's adding to this list? Now that's a longer list. You know, here we go. Why do elite runners listen to music? That's a whole other angle you could go if you wanted to sell headphones. Like the benefits of listening to music while running, the best thing to listen to while running. You have now just all these content ideas. And this is the kind of stuff that the AI is a little bit better at writing. <laughs> do real runners listen to music? Is it better to run with music or without? So those are some angles you can look at. And that's the kind of stuff that copy AI can help with. Now, let's look here again. By changing the blog title, what to look for in running headphones. Now we see like sweat proof, secure fit, lightweight. These are the elements now to consider in a good headphone. And then if you had a blog article or a video talking about those, now you can say, hey, here's how our, um, our favorite headphones rank, or here's the ones we recommend based on this criteria. So let's go ahead and continue through that process. Again, try not to use copy AI to get like very technical and especially more modern stuff because it's going to be a little bit behind in its understanding. So this kind of information, it should do a pretty good job because this hasn't really changed in the last year or two. This is something that the AI should be able to understand pretty well. And now I'm going to go through another step here. This is kind of phase one. You can use the blog post wizard to write up the first draft. Let's see here, looking for, for the same thing. One thing that makes you make it run, headphones. All right, it's a little bit specific on the sweat proof angle there. I could try regenerating, but let's go look at how it did here. This is a way to kind of sneak in uh, like affiliate products or recommended products, maybe the best uh, sweat proof headphones, the best secure fit headphone. Uh, the most lightweight sound control conclusion. Think about what you want for your headphones. Like that's pretty good content here. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of debate out there around, around. All right, that didn't quite get it. So it got a little off track there with the intro. There we go. This is good. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So nailed it, right? So you might have to just, you know, tweak it a little bit here to get what you want, but that's a really good introduction. <laughs> I like how it positioned that. So that's pretty good content right there. Let's go ahead and create the blog post. And here we go. We've got a good start. So let's go ahead and continue into the copy AI tools. And I want to show you what you can do with the freestyle tool. Because the, the blog post wizard, you can see it's more structured and a little bit more limited in how it works. But if we open up the freestyle tool over here on the left, we do a little bit more. So what I'm actually going to do is tell it to write a section of a blog article. I don't think we even need a question mark there. We'd look for our headphones. And let's say the blog title. What to look for in running headphones. And let's say the section title Secure Fit. All right, now this is another way to get the AI to write pretty good content for pretty much anything. By giving it this, this structure, we're telling it we're looking, we wanted to create one section of the blog. And the blog title is this. It understands the bigger goal here. And then the section title is more specific. So you can actually enhance this section here on secure fit. Let's see what it came up with. So you'll you have to stay in one place while you run this means way and be sure to try on different sizes. All right, so it's comfortable. 
let's take a look here at what else it came up with. All right, that's pretty good information there. Let's take a look. Last thing you want. So we can get some different angles and maybe some better inputs here. You know, this is a way to get some, uh, either enhance the content or kind of edit and improve it. But you get a few versions there in one click. So that could be useful and you could actually eliminate or, or use this strategy versus the blog post wizard where it writes everything in one go. You can just kind of guide it through if you have an idea in mind of what you wanna write. You can see there by seeing a few different var variations, that could be another way to just start to grab this. So you can copy some of this you know, drop it in and enhance or beef up your content. And you could also tell it to go in a different direction. So you could say uh, focus. I'm just using these kind of keywords to just communicate quickly, but uh, focus, let's say you wanted to expand on, um, you know, the frustration of your, uh, headphones falling out. So if you wanted to expand on that, just by giving it a little bit more guidance, you can get the AI to like dig in a little bit further into the frustration of your headphones falling out. So let's see if we can get it to write something a little bit more um, dialed into the pain point. Okay, something interesting thing. If you're experiencing frustration. <laughs> this is pretty good here. Uh, okay, that's an interesting angle, right? So it's overcoming the frustration. So you see the different type of copy you can write. And again, this strategy can be used for whatever you need to write. If it's emails, social media, uh, video, this is a pretty cool angle if you wanna dig into the frustration. And this strategy works really well because you can really guide it in into the overall concept of what's going on and then have it laser focus on a specific topic and a specific thing that you want to dig into. So that's you as more of the editor here. You can say, what kind of points do I want to make? Do I want to really dive into the frustration or the benefits of getting headphones to fit? Maybe I could focus on, you know, imagine what would happen if you had better headphones, like you'd be more motivated. Like, so I could talk about the focus here, like the benefits of what would happen if you were, um, all set and you had those perfect headphones. So those are different angles you can go with content writing, a few ways to get it done with Copy AI. And uh, one thing I'm gonna show you real fast is, uh, there's a link below this video that will take you to our notes and resources here. And I want you to look here, when you open that link, this is pretty cool. You can click on this and go to templates and, and uh, how to use the templates and freestyle tool. And if you go to the input commands here, all right, you know what? Check those out, but there's one thing I'm gonna show you first. Uh, the input commands are a way to like browse through, like what can I tell the AI to do? We're gonna explore that in just a moment, but first I'm gonna show you right down here. We did a demo recently, let me go back. Uh, right here, write a section of a blog with specific structure and key points. So we discovered this when someone in the Facebook group asked a question and they were trying to write a blog on romantic places in London. So what we did here, and this is how we figured this out. We told it to write a blog section, I'll make this bigger for you, a blog section. We told it to like what the topic was, the section topic, and then the structure. And it did a really good job and they were able to go through and just swap out the different places and it was able to write up some pretty good content really fast for each section of that blog. So that strategy can be really useful with anything you're trying to write about. Even if it's not a blog, again, you can use this for any topic that you're trying to dig into. By having it understand the higher level uh, can help you focus in and speak more clearly to the points you wanna hit. All right, we got some questions coming in. Let's take a look here.
yeah, you could pick topics uh, or products from any Amazon. And it's really easy to go find that kind of stuff. The hard part is often like crafting the narrative and answering the key questions that are coming up. So you have to find the balance in your case of doing that like headphone review. What interesting points could you make to enhance your content? The list of your recommended tools should be pretty easy to do on your own. But, you know, telling that story in a more compelling way, that's where you can go find the, you know, what people also ask, then use AI to write that. So you could say like, what headphones are best for running? Do pro runners, let's see what headphones are banned. And these could be interesting questions right there to add in there. And if we grab something like this section, to be a little bit off topic here, but let's just see. Yeah, wow, wow. There's there's a lot coming down the pipeline. You're gonna see some big updates with Copy AI in the next, I'd say, month or two, where everything I'm showing you right now is pretty much gonna be blown away. Like I can't really tell you much more except there are some big breakthroughs coming in Copy AI and AI in general that are gonna just completely blow your mind. So the best thing you can do right now is just get a handle on how to work with AI. And this is what you're learning today is effective ways to interact with AI and get what you want. And what's really cool is you can actually be pretty natural in how you communicate and express what you're looking for and just think through like, why isn't it writing what I need? Well, can I give it some more structure and more clarity and more context of what I'm, I need to get it to write what I need? So this is one strategy right here to give it like a higher level thinking and then boom, narrow in on what you're trying to focus on. And these kind of like simple questions can be answered pretty fast. All right, let's see here. How do we use the ensuring? Perfect. Good question. Let me uh, pull up something for you real quick. The question we often get is around like plagiarism and like how original is this content? So what I'm going to do here is just do use a tool called Copyscape. And this is a very, very cheap tool. It's like it costs pennies to, to run your content through it. So I'm going to take the first draft of that blog that we wrote over here, paste it in. And again, Copyscape is very affordable. If you're worried about uh, like plagiarism or it's being duplicated by other users, what you'll see here is there's no results found for plagiarism in that content. Now, the cool thing is if you're worried about other copy AI users getting the same results, that's not going to happen because the way it writes is it writes from scratch every time you click create content. So it actually is a predictive model based on all the variables that you put in here. It's writing words based on its understanding of every topic under the sun that's ever been written about. And it writes one word at a time through a predictive model. If that's a little bit confusing, like it's it's new to all of us. This is brand new technology that came out a couple of years ago. Uh, but it's not just like pulling in sources or like it doesn't have like a database of pre-written content. It's actually writing each word from scratch. So the way you can get it to sound more unique is by you know playing with your tones a little bit and also by guiding it through your input. So that's where the the magic can really happen is giving it a little bit more of an angle, right? So the, if the section title is uh, lightweight, you can have some fun with it. You can say like focus, um, heavy headphones, suck, <laughs> spell that right, suck. Uh, you'll never run, you know, go for a run if you if your head is heavy, I don't know. I can give it some like really weird angles here to go into. And let's just see what it does there. Just by like narrowing it, like pushing the AI a little bit in the direction I want it to go. It can pick up on that and start to weave into it. Yeah, pulling your head down. So it's able to kind of expand on that a little bit.
Let's just keep looking. Headphones. All right, so it's able to kind of take that concept, the sentiment, and expand on it right from that energy, that angle. Now this is doing it from more of a first-person perspective here. And this is true for any topic you write about. And that's kind of what I'm trying to get here is you can you can really guide the AI into something uniquely yours. And this is what um, you know a lot of clients I've worked with, my wife actually uses this every day to come up with the content around like, manifestation and and mindset and really more like abstract things but she's able to like take an idea that she sees or that she comes up with plug it in here a little bit and then work with the ai to kind of craft out her thoughts so it can work for very like boring generic things like you know the best shovel to get for your home garden uh, all the way into like super abstract poetic esoteric concepts and you can even have it right. Uh, people come up with like interesting ways to enhance their content, right? So five things you should think about. Let's do this. Five things you should think about. Let's do like a, a list of important things to consider. Section, um, let's say. What do you think about before you buy your next ones? Just do this. Focus. So anything, anything you can think of to enhance your content, make it more interesting. People write lists of affirmations and they record audio versions of affirmations and just really abstract stuff. So the, the point here is there's no limitation to what it can come up with for you. It really comes down to how can you make your content more valuable, interesting, useful, beneficial. All right, here's a list of you know, 10 things to think about. And that could right there could become a great post. This could even be the start of your blog outline. So there's many ways to tackle this. I'm just showing you like the creativity of the AI. What are you going to use them for? Think about the type of music, consider how much you want to spend, all the things to think about and consider. It can come up with this. Like it's super smart. And that right there could be an article. So that starting point right there could get you going. Okay, let's take a look at any other questions coming in. All right, let's 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 play with this one. This sounds fun. Uh, with a self-interview, formulate them nicely. Yeah, so if you have questions, so let's try this out. Uh, an answer to an interview question. The same logic would apply, okay? So we could say, Maybe the context, I would, I would try to tell the AI, like, what is the context here? What's the situation? I'm being interviewed by a uh, news publication who wants to, um, to share my expertise on blog writing, right? Context, uh, the question, you know, uh, how has blogging changed over the past 10 years? Answer, you can tell it some kind of, uh, like you said, hint for the answer. I could just give it some basic stuff. Um, you know, uh, SEO is still important, but you need to provide more value to your reader if you want to rank highly all right so again this whole structure is giving the ai enough context what the question is what the answer might be Look at that. <laughs> There's a pretty well-written answer.
So let me know if that answers your question. I mean, look at these answers. You have a, a kind of a nice range here. So it'll write several outputs for you that you can choose from pretty fast. Scanning through here, what you can do is start to edit that down and pop it over here and just say, well, you know, what is my answer? I could grab maybe the intro to that, paste it over here. There's another point that I made that I like. Pretty quickly, you can come up with a pretty, I mean, this sounds really pro, just reading through it. So let me know what you think about that because this is crazy cool, <laughs> okay? And what you could do is like, if you want to answer people's questions on social media, like imagine uh, you could even have the AI come up with the questions and then answer them like, hey, here's some questions I get all the time. So you could say, you could have the AI write up a list of questions that people ask about this topic and then make yourself the expert by answering the questions, follow the same strategy here and you can start to pump out some amazing content. Now this, this actually sounds really good too for social media. Um, if you wanted it to sound more authentic and as if you were just writing and sharing valuable tips from your own perspective, this context of an interview style answering could be really useful. Hey, are you look, looking for like a mobile app? standalone application let me know what you're looking for there i don't think there's any plans to make a, a full-blown mobile app yet but there's going to be some big updates to the whole interface and the way it works pretty soon so keep an eye out for that yeah it looks nice right that was super effective so this same strategy applies to anything you're trying to do if you can give the ai enough context and even telling it things like this i'm being interviewed that will give it some really good uh, context. It can actually understand the situation. So if you're writing an email, you can say, I'm writing an email to you know a potential client who was interested and they had some questions about whatever, or like they're not quite convinced that this is for them. You could give that kind of information to the AI and then have it write something beautifully crafted and will get you like 90% of the way done in just a few clicks. And you can scan through and be like, oh, awesome. You know, oftentimes you'll just see something and it's pretty much done or it sparks your creativity and then you can finish it off. You can obviously save this content too and come back to it later in any project you created. You'll have a save tab up there. So you can also keep that in mind. You can go through and save these and then find them later. Cool. Let's go ahead and finish up a couple of the last points that I wanted to hit on today. Coming up with blog content ideas, I showed you that briefly earlier, but this is really fun. And this is where the inputs become super helpful for you. So let's look back here at how I was using the freestyle tool earlier. What I told it is I want a list of 10 blog post titles that will grab the attention of my target audience. I told it what I do. You can come up with anything here. Like I help people start their own um, home garden. And let's come up with the content. So just be real with the AI. What do you need? What would be useful right now? If you're not even sure what to write about, have it come up with ideas for you. All right, 10 quick tips. Let's see how to make the most of your backyard garden. Make them come true. Let's see. Three things you need to do before you start a home garden. The basics. All right, that looks pretty good. How to grow your own uh, food at home, the ultimate guide. These are great ideas. So just like that, you can have ideas. Now, what I would do is use the editor on the side to come up with a list of ideas. So, you know, save them, put them in one place and think through like um, your process, right? So step one, I need to come up with a bunch of ideas. So grab a cup of coffee, sit down and get a list of like 20, 30 topic ideas like that. And that's like phase one. Then phase two, you can go back in and start to build out that content. So you can go use the blog post wizard or have it come up with the outline here. So let's say uh, an outline for my blog article. 
and we'll just say the topic how to build a professional brand that is authentic you can use the freestyle tool for anything right here if you feel more comfortable in this space that's an option the other option i showed you before was that blog post wizard which kind of guides you through it but let's see what it came up with here define your value figure out what your key assets are work on building relationships with others those are three great steps right there why you need it's giving me a pretty thorough outline here some good tips so all of these could turn into content and again that's where i would start to craft out my content over here and maybe we say like the outline i can go grab some of these points all of these could be good points and now i go back through that same process of in each section And we can say a section, blog article. And I would give it some clarity here of blog topic and then section topic. And let's write that up. So I'm just showing you another way to go through that same process of the what is the overall goal here? What is the uh, the outline? And then how do I write up that content? That looks pretty good right there. There we go. Engage with your audience. And again, I can scan through here and even pull out some other things. So if I wanted to, you know, enhance this content, I can actually scan through and see if there's any other good points. Looks pretty good. All right, so engage with their audience. Again, in this section topic, engage with your audience. I could even enhance that a little bit. So like you like you said, hint at what you wanted to write about. Uh, let's see, engage with your audience. What could I say there? Um, don't um, just talk at them. Um, make your content more interactive and helpful. So now I can have it scan on that idea, and then I'm going to pick through what I like. So you see at the beginning here, it'll kind of summarize the overall thing, but then usually it'll it'll get right into some unique content here. Let's keep scanning. Looks pretty good. Some good points. Let's see if there's anything else I like better. All right, so that process can work for so many things. I'm gonna take a look at a couple questions that just came in. We got about 10 minutes left. Uh, let's see here. Can I set how many words? Not yet. Uh, the team's working on that. Hopefully soon there'll be more knobs and controls here to make that easier to do. At this stage, you're, um, you know, you just have to go with what it's writing for you here. Now, some of the other tools are trained on shorter or longer. So if we look at the other tools over here, some of these are actually trained to write shorter content. So like, Facebook headlines, for example, 
those are shorter and they're trained to write just like short Facebook headlines. So you may look over there at the other tools if there's specific things you want to write in shorter ways. And one thing I found too is telling it to write like, um, you can say like a list of 10 uh, short tweets to um, or 10 short uh, questions. Let's do this. 10 questions to ask my audience about this topic. So I, I, I use this a lot to have it write shorter bits of content, whether it's questions or topics or ideas or tweets. You can tell it to write like a list of 10 things and that will give you Look at these questions. These are really good. So on the on the topic of engaging your audience, what have you built up content ideas around the questions that you ask? We can scan through here. What's the most important thing you've discovered about building a personal brand? Is there anything I wish someone had told you? Like these are great questions to ask your audience. So let me show you that again, a uh, list of 10 questions. That same concept can apply for shorter form content, a list of 10 headlines to put on my sales page. On my sales page, let's just see what it comes up with there. Even though it's a blog, I'm um, just seeing what it can come up with. There you go, look at these. Uh, let's see here. It's giving me maybe other variations. Interesting. And that could almost be sections, um, of that blog. Anyway, just showing you different ways to think about, uh, writing, especially with the freestyle tool you have control in the sense that you can tell it in your own language what you're trying to get it to write. Like a short one sentence um, description of this content. See how it can handle that in just natural language, telling it what you want. Uh, you see it's it's writing shorter there because I told it what I'm looking for. <laughs> That's a good line right there. No one wants to hear you talk about yourself. All right. So let's see here. Another question. Yeah, great question here. Share the workflow to create a list of pain points and objectives for an audience who wants to start uh, objections got it so on that uh resource that i showed you earlier um if we zoom back out of this the notes and resources link below has something really useful right here so how to use the templates and freestyle tool if you click on that and if you look at the input commands here i'm just gonna search for pain and let's see what it comes up with. There we go. List of pain points. Generate a list of ideas. I think I had some other ones. Focus on. Yeah, these are some ideas. But what you can really do here is say a list of 10 pain points and frustrations. that my ideal customer is struggling with right now. Let's just say ideal customer. Um, people who want to start a beauty business from home. All right. And let's just use helpfuls. Let's actually use a frustrated tone. See what it comes up with. 
So this is what I call instant market research with AI. So you can actually use AI's predictive language model and its vast intelligence of learning and reading through all the public content on the internet. It can actually figure this out for you. Let's see, I don't have enough time. Don't know how to start. Not sure what, uh, what products to use. Don't know how to set up a website and social media accounts. It's hard to find the right people for my team to help me grow my business. Uh, here's some other ones. So you see it's going in a few different directions. Website stuff here. Maybe you could be more specific. This is more like a physical like home salon. So what type of business might be interesting? Is it uh, selling products as like an affiliate? Is it creating their own home salon? If you niche down even further and give it the AI more information, it can help you dig in a little bit more specifically, but these still look pretty good. Getting deals on equipment and supplies. I don't know how to keep track of my expenses. I don't know how to market my business. Afraid of getting ripped off. It's hard to tell if products are safe for my skin. Instagram, hard to find time. So you see some themes coming up here. And now let's see here. Uh, a list of 10... the objections about 10 reasons why my ideal customer is not taking action and frustrated may not be the best tone there but we'll go with it for now it just kind of creates a subtle Tone. So maybe uh, we're hinting to the AI that they're frustrated about something and that's why they're not taking action. Okay, here we go. They've never done anything like this before and they're scared of failure. They don't know where to start. They don't have money or resources. They don't know where their customers will come from. Time. Yeah, that's a good one. What people will think about them. market is too saturated. These are all really good. Uh, if you wanted to get more niche down, I would just add some more context here, right? So ideal customer, um, you know, they are thinking about starting an at home salon. That would give them a little bit more context, give the AI a little bit more. And let's just say, I'm going to say friendly as my tone, because it's really neutral here. We're really just kind of using this for market research. Okay, let's see. Uh, your product is a course that teaches uh, creating and selling high quality natural. Oh, okay, cool. So it's selling natural hair oil. Got it. So that would be uh, details that you can put in there. Sorry, I missed that. How much it will cost. But let's do that. Um, they um, are interested in creating and selling their own um, high quality natural hair oil, but just put that. So they're interested in creating their own high quality natural oil. Um, they are considering buying a course that teaches them how. All right, let's see here. Uh, buying online course that teaches them how. So that is the ideal customer. This is someone who they want to start their own. <laughs> I mean, we're pretty clear here. So let's see if we can figure out 10 reasons why they're not taking action. Okay, they're afraid that to fail at something new, they don't want to have to learn. <laughs> uh, let's see, they want to be able to spend time with their friends, not spending all the time working on their business. Interesting, really good insights here.
So you could overcome these objections in your, your marketing, your sales copy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are good things to consider. Pretty cool how it can really deconstruct this for you. Another way to phrase it would be a list of 10 um, questions my ideal customer would like to have answered before they buy. That could be another way to phrase that. And once that wraps up, I'm gonna have to wrap up today. Let's see. So this could be another angle of like, what kind of questions? Look at that. That's a great FAQ list to put on your page. All right, that was pretty cool. Um, I think a couple things we didn't quite get into. Let's see. Come up blog. The last one I'll show you really fast: the keywords and refining your target audience. And I saw one more question came in: a keyword generator tool. Oh, okay, here we go. Keyword generator tool. Just search for it over here on the tool side. Keyword, and you'll see keyword generator. And what are you posting about? Um, I help people who want to start abusing business from home. Da -da 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 -da. All right, let's try that. So I'm just telling it some basic info about the topic. And let's see what kind of uh, keywords it comes up with here. Start a beauty business, natural hair oil. Da -da 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 -da. How to make your own hair oil, growing a business, starting a small business at home. These are all great keyword phrases that you can consider for your, um, your content. And this is really helpful too, to come up with keywords, phrases like this, and then go back into the freestyle tool and tell it to write up a list of 10 blog um, titles to attract my ideal customer. And let's say ideal customer, and then we'll say keywords, or let's say um, topics. So I grab that list of keywords to help, we'll go with not frustrated, but let's do it helpful. So that keyword uh, or can turn into a list of topics that can help you come up with content ideas to attract your ideal customer. So I use the keyword tool to come up with that list and that can help kind of beef up. Like these are great. These are great videos you could create, a webinar you could create, a free resource, a download. It doesn't have to be a blog. It can be just helpful content. Pretty cool stuff here. Look at all these. I mean, great ideas. So just by beefing up your input a little bit and using the keyword generator tool to come up with some uh, topic, longer form. You see how it's bringing it, it pulled out like a, through the predictive model. It's like, okay, maybe it's big in the, like the black community here. So it's a, for a black woman. If that's not true, you could just delete that if you're not focusing on that demographic. But that's why I was kind of pulling that into some of the stuff. So you can be more specific. And you saw what it did there. It was able to kind of weave that into the content ideas. So the more clear you can get on who your customer is, what they want, what they're looking for, that's where you can get some really unique content ideas and angles from the AI. The last one is the audience refiner. I like this one a lot because you can tell it a quick overview of who your audience is, and it can help you kind of expand on that and explain it more thoroughly. So if you're not, if you're struggling to figure out who is my target audience, the audience refiner tool can help you get more clear on that. So is it single mothers? Look at that. So it's like getting really clear here and that can help you like think through like, oh, maybe, maybe that's not quite right, but that's a good starting point. I could just tweak. Maybe it's just anyone in the U S or 
adding a little bit more clarity to who your target audience is. So a couple of tools there to help you in that process of getting, uh, expanding out and uh, figuring out what kind of content you can create, speaking more clearly to your ideal customer and using the AI to write all that up. Uh, let me get to the last question here. Yeah, so that structure of having it like continue, that's that's where I would go into the freestyle tool and use that structure that I showed you earlier. Similar to this. Now at this stage, it's not going to quite figure that out. But what I would do is follow this process here and just change out, you know, the, the higher level concept of what's going on. And then each section topic, I would just swap that out. So it kind of understands that you're writing a blog. You could even tell it like the previous article was this, or the previous section was this, this section is this. And it would just, it would pick up on that. Like, Hey, you know, in the last uh, lesson or the last section, we talked about this. Now we're going to dive into this. So it's all about explaining to the AI where it is in the overall structure and the process. And you could actually tell it like previous section, you know, a section, a blog article, blog title, how to your business on social media, previous section, um, visual content, this section, written content. Funny tone. We'll, let's go ahead and just go with a helpful tone. So that could be a way right here. Tell it what the previous section one was and what this section is. And it should be able to, to pick up on that and understand what you're saying. Let's keep looking. See how it, it tied that in. So right there, it, it was able to kind of subtly incorporate that. So you'll you'll notice the better you can communicate what's going on, where you are in the writing process, it can actually kind of subtly tie that together for you. Yeah, Dice. Sorry about <laughs> the 1080p. Yeah, for somehow, it was supposed to be 1080p for all my demos, but somehow the settings got adjusted. So the previous few maybe weren't. But now we're back to 1080p. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up. Thanks for hanging out. We covered a lot today uh, with the blog post wizard, the freestyle tool, coming up with blog content and getting keywords to refine your target audience down. That's all for now. If any questions, join the Facebook group or check out the other YouTube videos. Most importantly, try out Copy AI for yourself and follow. go back through these steps and apply it to your business and watch the magic happen. Until next time, happy writing.